Big budgets used to be exclusive to major Hollywood films, but that was before the current golden age of television started in the late 1990s. TV has never been this good or this pricey. Here are some of the most expensive scenes ever shot for the small screen. At $217 million, The Pacific was the most expensive miniseries ever made when it was released in 2010. Its depiction of the Peleliu beach landings in World War II alone cost $5 million, a figure that becomes even more staggering when you read The Hollywood Reporter's invoice breakdown. Some 300 actors worked on the four-day shoot. The lead's daily rate was $700, stunt extras $150, and regular extras $70. This was economical according to the producers, who avoided big stars to offset the show's real money burners, which included uniforms, visual effects, and a whole arsenal of guns, explosives, and tanks. Then there was the CGI. Even simple effects such as adding a muzzle flash to a gunshot cost about $700. More complicated adjustments such as removing or masking features in the image ran about $40,000 per shot. Three and a half seconds of a landing craft, for example, cost almost $30,000. These are just the post-production expenses. Each standard take drawing principal photography cost $13,500. The wide shots of which there were four per day could add up to $70,000. Spectacle costs money, that's why the pilot episode for Lost, which famously depicts a plane crash, cost ABC between $10 million and $14 million, the most expensive pilot in history at the time. The scene was constructed in multiple locations. It began aboard a mocked-up plane interior in a California soundstage, where director J.J. Abrams used a skillful blend of practical ingenuity and CGI to capture the horrifying panic as the aircraft drops out of the sky. The CGI takes over as we see the plane break apart and scatter across the ocean. Some additional disturbing moments were filmed on the coast of Oahu, Hawaii. It was here that the most expensive prop was used, a decommissioned airliner. The passenger plane was bought in the Mojave Desert and then transported to Hawaii, where it was staged in catastrophic fashion. Fortunately, ABC's investment would reap major dividends. Lost became one of the biggest shows of the 2000s and occasionally one of its most confusing. All right, dude, we're from the future. Game of Thrones is a big show, a very big show. Everything about it is massive, including the budget. Metro reports that the notorious eighth season costs $90 million, which means $15 million for each of the season's six episodes. Of these, it's likely that the Battle of Winterfell costs the most. All of the pricey ingredients are here. A sweeping cast with established fame and hefty salaries, scores of extras decked in unique costumes, towering set design, and seamless integration of CGI. However, this huge battle split opinion among viewers. Many bemoaned how dimly lit the cinematography was, complaining that they had to adjust the brightness on their TVs because it was simply too dark to watch. I can't see. Well, that's your problem, not mine. Other viewers loved it, with a headline at Games Radar quoting a claim that it was the most intense episode in television history. The $18 million pilot of Boardwalk Empire is effectively one big piece of world building that displays the show's glitz and glamour, including the lavish Boardwalk set that cost $5 million. That's a lot. It's quite a lot. The boardwalk set was staged in Greenpoint, Brooklyn, and took months to build. In an interview with the Chicago Tribune, set designer Bob Shaw said that it was the biggest outdoor set built in New York City in almost a hundred years. Then there were the small details. The storefronts were based closely on the Atlantic City boardwalk circa 1920. That's just one part of the exhaustive research that went into the project, which covered everything from key moments of World War I and Prohibition to the wider popular culture of the era. Budgets tend to bulge when warfare and especially fire-breathing dragons are involved. The Crown has neither of those things, but 70 years of royal history doesn't come cheap. In fact, The Crown is one of the most expensive shows ever made, with the first season costing $130 million. The priciest scene in the 10-episode run is Queen Elizabeth II's wedding. It features a replica dress that, according to Harper's Bazaar, costs $37,000 to make. This standout piece of wardrobe was just one part of the show's ornate grandeur. In a conversation on the red carpet, actor Claire Foy said, Every single penny was spent on screen. All the locations are appropriate but extraordinary. The costumes were handmade and designed. Also, we were shooting in London. It's so rare that you're able to shoot in London. We shut down the mall for an entire morning. Matt Smith, who played Prince Philip, added, We had great costumes, great locations, so I think all the money went on screen. 
Sense8 was always going to be an expensive show because its eight main characters are from every corner of the Earth. According to Wired, this globetrotting extravaganza was costing Netflix $9 million per episode when it was cancelled in June 2017. Of the show's 24 episodes, Season 2's Christmas special was likely the most expensive, in particular an underwater scene that took the cast and crew all the way to Malta. Filming underwater is far more complex than filming on dry land, and it often requires up to three times as many crew members. Then there are creative concerns, namely the complications affecting light and color, which means waiting for the opportune time period on the open sea or using elaborate lighting equipment if working in a tank. Either way, it's a matter of crew, time, and technology, all of which costs plenty of money. Jack Ryan is one of Amazon's proudest exhibits. It announced the company's intention to spend big money on big drama, $8 million per episode to be exact. Every action scene is an explosive testament to Amazon's deep pockets. Pinpointing a certain scene isn't easy because there are so many to choose from, but the subway shootout in Season 1, Episode 8 is definitely a highlight. As with so much of contemporary TV, the lines between reality and CG are blurred, as Jack Ryan edges down the subway tunnel gun in hand. After a brief shootout, a train barrels along the tracks, obliterating one of the men Ryan's just shot. And it's exactly that type of CGI-driven moment that can take a big bite out of an episode's budget. And it was totally worth it. Most fans like to see their protagonists kick ass, especially when they're dealing with zombies. Depicting this is usually a rather modest affair, at least in the scheme of mega-budget TV. But which Walking Dead scene took the biggest chunk out of the show's budget? Well, Season 7's ninth episode saw prices go up when it featured two old cars, a line of wire, and a whole lot of walkers. The bulk of the cost was likely incurred during post-production. Processing all of those CGI flying limbs does not come cheap. Even the walkers' moans and groans were added by audio specialists. The undead extras are asked to remain silent. As usual, this scene was an amplification of a budget that was already full of expensive details. For example, Yahoo reports that AMC paid the families of Sonoya, Georgia, where the majority of the series is filmed, $400 a month to compensate for the hassle of production and to discourage locals from sharing any spoilers they might have seen. When Friends started in 1994, the budget was so tight that producers had to use the bottle episode format, which required the crew to use as few sets as possible and not even think of having special guests. Well, as everyone on the face of the earth knows, Friends would become one of the biggest shows in the history of American television, earning Warner Brothers a yearly syndication revenue of $1 billion. This success saw the modestly stage show end up costing a pretty penny for NBC. By the eighth season, each main cast member was earning $750,000 for every 30 minutes episode. That's $25,000 a minute. So when Brad Pitt turned up for Thanksgiving dinner, it couldn't have been cheap. Still, it's a no-brainer when the choice is between money and an unforgettable episode. What's more important, your friends or money? Friends! friends. friends. Just like with Lost back in 2004, showrunner J.J. Abrams wanted Fringe to make a strong first impression. Unfortunately for Fox executives, a sequence that included scores of extras, face-melting special effects, and a custom-built set would contribute to a $10 million budget. The cost breakdown would have shared much in common with Lost, a mocked-up plane interior, a soundstage, and detailed CGI. Only this time there was a strong serving of gory makeup applied to about a dozen extras aboard the doomed plane. Fringe, like other entries on this list, would see the budget fall after its pilot, plateauing at a rate of $4 million per episode. Yet another case of pilot extravagance. The costumes, period sets, and star power of vinyl is said to have cost $30 million. However, despite the collaboration of Mick Jagger and Martin Scorsese, vinyl landed with neither critics nor audiences. So why did it cost so much money? Well, much like 70s rock, too much is never enough. That's what I'm talking about. The pilot episode was effectively one big scene crammed with everything viewers could expect from the rest of the season. In the case of vinyl, this manifested in a large ensemble cast, a sweeping wardrobe of authentic 70s garb, and a catalog of licensed music. The pilot's $30 million price tag was just 33% of the first season's $100 million budget, which would ultimately sink the show before it could take off. The Big Bang Theory had become a massive show by its 11th season. Its 250-plus episodes brimmed with the affectionate geekiness that fans around the world identified with. So for the season's final episode, which featured the marriage of Amy and Sheldon, the show needed an extra special guest. That guest, of course, was Mark Hamill, the iconic Star Wars actor. 
Hamill was the perfect choice to officiate the wedding of two super geeks, and he also brought some extra star power to the show. Although this wedding episode already boasted a bevy of high-profile cameos, including Kathy Bates, Jerry O'Connell, Laurie Metcalf, Will Wheaton, plus many more. And that's basically how a simple sitcom can cost $9 million for a single episode. Rome is another lavish production that was overwhelmed by its budget. In many ways, Rome set the stage for Game of Thrones, which would reach a far bigger audience using a similar brew of power, politics, and violence. The budgetary peak for Rome came with the depiction of the Battle of Philippi, which occurred in 42 BC during the Liberator's Civil War. It's a huge scene that mixes dozens of extras clad in full suits of armor and carrying a variety of weapons. Also, everything we see is supplemented by CGI that multiplies the scene's scope many times over. TV had never been staged like this before, a towering blend of sword and sandal grandeur mixed with modern grit and violence. Game of Thrones is a show that's too big to mention just once. Of all the chaos and majesty that we witness, the dragon attack in Season 7's fourth episode is perhaps the most awesome and the most expensive. The execution of this remarkable sequence was detailed in a short HBO documentary. When director of photography Rob McLaughlin learned about the scene, he had an understandable response. Oh boy, that is going to be a lot of work. McLaughlin's team operated at least four cameras, sometimes seven or eight. They also used three different tracking vehicles to capture the huge Dothraki charges, which were also filmed on cameras hoisted on industrial cranes. Then there were the helicopter drones, which were supplied by a third party to add further dynamic shots to this complex sequence. The zenith of the episode occurs when the dragon focuses his deadly attack on the loot train, which we see from several perspectives. The practical effects team worked tirelessly to create a seamless line of explosions that would not only look authentic but also push an already epic depiction of a dragon in battle to the next level. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.